treat uh, patients with a variety of neurological conditions uh, of the brain and spine. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the sacroiliac joint fusion procedure. The uh, sacroiliac joint is an under-recognized uh, source of pain in the back and, and in the hip area. Some common causes for sacroiliac joint dysfunction could be arthritis in the area, or it actually occurs in up to 40% of patients who've had spinal fusion. I'm a person that, that likes to do, you know, a lot of uh, physical things, you know, uh, fishing, gardening, for almost two years. I was in excruciating pain, and I was, I was not myself, because just by walking uh, from here to my kitchen to do anything that I used to do, I couldn't do it. So when a patient comes in, uh, there are a few uh, clues that I will try to gather to, to determine if their cause of pain may be from the sacroiliac joint. Perhaps the most important uh, factor is, is the history that they give. Um, we discuss uh, pain over the area. If they have the right distribution of pain, that's, that's the start. The two factors that I personally uh, rely on the most to determine uh, SI joint pain is the Fortin finger test, which is when a patient can point to one spot where their pain is, is uh, localized. Um, and the, the second major factor I use is a response to the uh, injection into the joint. So the minimally invasive procedure uh, that is now available to us uh, involves placing uh, three triangular shaped implants into the sacroiliac joint. This can be done through a two to three centimeter incision along the hip and uh, the entire procedure is done minimally invasively um, under x-ray uh, guidance. The whole procedure takes about one hour the recovery period is variable, but in general, patients are up and walking uh, right after surgery. They may or may not need to use a crutch. Most patients uh, will have a significant relief of their pain within a couple weeks. Since the operation, uh, I've been feeling myself. Every day that passes by, I'm getting better and better and better and better. Thank to the doctor, well, I was real frustrated and depressed and when I had the surgery um, I was just hoping well maybe I'll be good maybe I'll be good but now I'm a I'm hundred percent myself <laughs> since the surgery I fuse gave me my life back if you are interested in a consultation feel free to call my office to set up a time and I would be happy to go over your imaging studies and uh, discuss whether sacroiliac joint fusion may be an option for you.